I think today's video is going to be kind of interesting. I, I have a, a probably the most unique pen I've ever seen, and it's um, remarkable that this thing exists in some ways. It's a um, you'll you'll just have to see it. Anyway, it comes in a box. It, believe it or not, it's not a toothpaste. Uh, it's not a tube of toothpaste in this box. It's a fountain pen, and it's called. Core. I did a video the other day with a friend of mine, Peter Rukavina, and he showed me his top five pens, and this is one of his top five pens. And it's a really unique, well, it's unique and interesting and a lot of fun, actually. And what it's called is the Rotring Core. Uh, I don't believe it's ex made anymore. I could be wrong. Uh, I looked online. When you look at the box, it comes in a standard cardboard box, and it has on it something really interesting. Uh, it says, Core Fountain Pen, ET, I don't know what that means, Eternium, gray-orange, Eternium. What's Eternium? <laughs> well, I looked it up, and Eternium is, well, several things. It's a 2004 album by the, the band Diablo. It's a planet in the Futura Futurama series, first seen in the in the uh, episode called The Day the Earth Stood Stupid. <laughs> it's metal from a game called Ancient Domains of Mystery, and it's metal from a game uh, called World of Warcraft. So I don't think Eternium really exists except in the marketing of this pen. <laughs> so Rotring. Uh, at first I thought, oh, I don't have a Rotring fountain pen, but I actually have an art, uh, a Rotring art pen, and it's for drawing. And I don't think Rotring makes a lot of fountain pens, but it does make the art pen for sketching, and I believe they have a calligraphy set too. Um, I'm more familiar from my student days when I was uh, doing mechanical illustration and technical illustrations, and there's a, 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 a pen that has like a fine metal tube and a needle inside the tube and you use it for very fine lines uh, a technical pen and they were they made very good technical pens and they still do i believe um so anyway so this is the only rotoring i have but we're going to look at something really quite uh quite interesting so here it is and it the first thing i when i saw this i was like that is one industrial space age kind of pen. And I think that's actually probably the intention. It's designed probably for, it's probably aimed at a teenager mar market or a, a student market. Somebody who want, you know, somebody who, or somebody who wants something fun and, and just different. Rotring. Rotring uh, stands for, uh, German, it's made in Germany, so red ring, of course, uh, and as you see, here is the famous red ring that you would find on all rotring pens, I believe, uh, technical or otherwise. This one has it right there, so the red ring. So, so what you see is an incredibly big cap with a, a very solid industrial uh, clip, which kind of reminds me of the Lamy Safari clip or the Lamy Alster, uh, but it's very durable. If you look up here, it seems to have a uh, a bolt which, which would be screwed on with an Allen key. That's an Allen key shape, so it's almost like an off-the-shelf uh, item in some ways. Um, I'm confused by the, the clip because it almost or the cap, I should say, because it almost looks like it's designed as a grip. Um, if you look at it, there's, you know, the gray part here, which is kind of a rubberized uh, feel to it. And then there's this pl hard plastic piece here that is, has little ridges on it. And you run your finger along it, and you make a nice sound. And of course, the uh, Rotring logo is engraved in a very large uh, lettering on the bottom of the cap. It's a pull cap, which I quite like, and it pops off quite nicely, and it's very secure, you know. So, <clears throat> first thing you notice is that actually it posts. Posts quite nicely, actually. It really 
uh, this little button at the bottom here seems to grab the cap when you put it on. So it, it um, clips, it snaps right on. Most obvious thing other than the cap <laughs> is, is the uh, section here, the grip section. It reminds me of a horse's saddle or like a, a motor bi motor bicycle or mo motorcycle's uh, seat. It has like so it's like a saddle shaped uh, grip. I've never actually seen that before um, on a pen. It might be this might be the only pen that I know of. Well, this is the only pen that I know of that has this type of grip. So it sort of drops down and it's very smooth in the top and on the bottom part. Once again, there's this sort of ridging. Uh, plasticky feel, very similar, to, only just larger than on the on the, the uh, on the cap. When I first saw it, I thought that would be fairly uncomfortable. But actually, you know what? You put your finger in there, and it sort of rests against this little ridge right here of the saddle. I'm going to call it the saddle from now on. And your bottom finger sort of sets under here, and it doesn't slide very much because of the uh, textured uh, ridging. And so actually it makes a nice, makes for a nice grip. And, you know, it's almost like the Lamy Safari in a, in concept, but oddly different, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, make in some way, it kind, you know, that triangular grip, but it's, it's just taken to an extreme. Um, one of the things I noticed about it is the shape of the nib. It's a spade-like shape, and it has little dots on it. And it says, um, I don't know if you can see it here, but I believe it says XL in this little logo here. On one side, it says Rotring right here, and on the other side, it says Germany. Yeah, so it's like a, a, a spade-shaped uh, nib, which which actually is, you know, a fairly good size. The puzzling part is also if you flip it over and look at the feed, it's, an, it's a big feed for this type of pen. And um, I'm kind of confused by these fins. I wonder if they're actually designed more just for aesthetics, just to fill in the area because of the, the size of that uh, section. So I don't know if they're actually functional or uh, contribute in any way to the feed of the pen or if they're just design just filling in that space but anyway <laughs> interesting stuff about this pen there's all kinds of little logo and marks all over it um which puzzle me it says core and <laughs> when i look at that type i think of toothpaste for some reason there's a logo right here um i'm not too sure what that means at all and there's another one up here with little letters you can't really see it too well but uh, yeah, there's here, there's, 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 there's little bits of logo and type all over this pen. And if you, so right along here, turn this way, it says, and write on system, write on system. <laughs> and there are these little dots and there's like an arrow here in dots. And then at the bottom, there are these little dots also and TRN and then there's a logo here. There's an arrow pointing up towards these ink windows. Uh, there's four ink windows. And then it says force resource, which I'm assuming relates to this, <laughs> to the ink windows. I guess it's, there's probably room in the barrel for two cartridges. So you, um, right now there's just one in there, I believe. So if you have two cartridges, you know you have resources <laughs> to use. And, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of interesting that way. It's, a, it's actually a fairly big pen. I, I don't have anything to compare it with, and I don't have a measuring ruler here, but you can see on this notepad how large it is. It's fairly uh, girthy uh, in comparison to most pens. It, uh, it's just an interesting beast. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess um, when you unscrew it, um, I'm, there, you, you can feel it coming off. So, it takes a cartridge, and there's these little um, clips here that I believe help hold the cartridge in place. It also, I believe, can use a converter. Uh, I don't have one here on the hand or inked up, but anyway, there's a cartridge in it. So, yeah, so these, I believe, when you put the cap, 
when you, you screw the body back on, these lock in place and hold everything in, 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 in place firmly. Very interesting system. I'm not too sure why. <laughs> now, the funny thing about this pen, and um, the surprise, not the funny thing about this pen, the surprising thing about this pen is I tried writing with it yesterday, and it's actually a good writer. It's a very nice pen to write with. Um, you could probably um, actually write with it on Post-it, exceptionally comfortable, it, comfortably. You know, it, it's a nice size pen. It's so when you're writing with it, it, it probably, you know, you don't need to post it. But I always like posting pens, and it posts deeply, like I said. And <clears throat> uh, I'd say the, the nib says XL, but it probably is closer to a medium. And so I'm just going to do a little writing sample, the quick. Lazy dog. So yeah, it, it it's a very smooth writer. Uh, it writes, you know, a smooth line. There's a a little bit of feedback, not much. And it does what it's supposed to do. Now, I have come across expensive pens that don't do what they're supposed to do. <laughs> you know, you open up some, uh, you know, I've, I've, I've um, experienced a couple pens that would be far more expensive with this. And out of the box, they just didn't write. So you, I had to spend a bit of time getting them going. So... Apparently this thing wrote right out of the box. So, and it, as I say, it's not my pen. It's my a friend, my my friend's pen, and I'm just borrowing it. But the thing is, I believe it's a student pen. And what I would say about student pens is, they are they are good pens. That they, they they write beautifully in most cases. They're smooth, inexpensive pens like the Platinum Preppy, uh, a few other ones. Uh, tend to be excellent writers, and this is no different. This is an excellent writer. Um, and I think it is designed for somebody who just wants to stand out or wants to have something different. It's probably designed for a kid or a teenager or someone who loves pens. And my friend Peter loves pens, and he's, he's a, you know, he has uh, several more conservative pens, and this is one of the ones in his collection that, you know, is just has more flair. I have, you know, I have a couple of fountain pens that probably fall into that category where they, I have them just because they have more flair. You know, the rest of mine tend to be fairly conservative, black, gold. I have, you know, things like that or more traditional shapes. Um, so yes, all in all, I would say the platinum core or, or the Rotring core, I was going to call it platinum. The, the Rotring core is a unique pen. It's well-made sturdy, uh, colorful, fun. It, it is very fun. Surprisingly comfortable to hold and an excellent writer. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought I'd just show you something really different for today. And um, I was wondering if anybody has another type of pen that's really different looking or, you know, just leans towards the outrageous what how do you like them do, does anybody have a a, a rotring core if so i'd like to hear from you and it just you know send me a comment or something like that and also if you like the video give it give it a thumbs up but also if you're new around here and you haven't already or if you're a frequent viewer please subscribe to my channel i, I have a goal of hitting a thousand uh subscribers and i'm getting close and it's a lot of fun uh interacting with people and figuring out how YouTube works. And, and I hope you support my channel and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a great day. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.